If you're familiar with pellet grills, then you're probably familiar with the most common complaint, and that is not having enough smoke. Most people who are serious about smoking either avoid pellet grills or they do something to supplement the smoke, like using a smoke tube. Well, I'm here to tell you today that Camp Chef has done it again. They have their revolutionary new Camp Chef Woodwind Pro that addresses not only that issue, but plenty of others. We're gonna dive down into the features of this brand new offering, and we're gonna show you why it's gonna fit nicely into your garage. So first and foremost, Camp Chef went to the market, they listened to the consumers, they listened to their customers, and they looked at it from the perspective of what can we do to give them what they are asking for. And today I am telling you that they have done it and they have done so successfully. On this new Camp Chef, they have a revolutionary feature that they're calling the smoke box. This smoke box is a feature that allows you to supplement additional smoke from hardwood or lump charcoal or charcoal briquettes. And I'm gonna tell you what, after cooking on this thing a bunch of times, twice in Utah, two different occasions, and then here at my own house, it makes a big difference. This is the closest thing that you're going to get to an offset in the form factor and technology wise of a pellet grill. So what exactly does it do? The smoke box, as you can see up front, is basically a basket. It sits above your burn pot where your pellets are fed and burned. There is a butterfly valve that allows you to open and close to allow heat and flames to hit your hardwood or your charcoal. This will then ignite those fuel sources. You close the butterfly valve and it creates that nice, thick, heavy smoke that you would expect out of an offset. Now they're doing all of this while continuing to maintain temperature accurately like you would expect from a pellet grill. And I can tell you now that that little bit of fire and, and smoldering charcoal that comes with that smoke box, it does not affect temperature whatsoever. I've cooked on this for dozens of hours now and I can tell you with 100% certainty, it does a great job. Now, when it comes to cooking with the smoke box, it produces smoke levels similar to what you would expect out of a offset smoker. You have that thick, rich smoke, you have those deep smoke rings, and you have that good dark bark that you would expect from a smoker that most of you aren't getting out of your pellet grill. So that upgrade alone sets this Camp Chef Woodwind Pro ahead of any competitors in the pellet grill market. Now, as you can see, looks wise, they have changed up quite a bit with this Camp Chef Woodwind Pro. And I'm gonna show you some of the features of this grill that set it apart from their previous versions of the Woodwind. Now, first and foremost, you're gonna see that the paint scheme is different. Every Camp Chef pellet grill itself, prior to the Apex, had a painted body. Now, if you follow anything within the Camp Chef realm or pellet grill realm, painted bodies can be a pain in the ass. And I'm gonna tell you why. If you have a grease fire of any kind or your grill overheats, it's not uncommon to see the paint bubbling. Now, that isn't at the fault of the grill. That really falls down on the user themselves. I personally have had Camp Chef for over two and a half years now, and I do not have any paint issues on any of my grills. But I also do a good job of keeping them clean, especially when I know I'm gonna be running at higher temperatures. I want to avoid all of those grease fires at all costs. Now, Camp Chef said, we're gonna go with something that has been proven, and that is going with the stainless steel body. That's gonna avoid all paint issues. Now, for aesthetics looks, you can see they did go with a painted lid. They also insulated the lid. You can see that they've added that here on the inside. They have also added a gasket to the lid, so that cuts back on any draft or smoke loss that would come through this, and it helps keep that convection style heating and the rolling effect. Now, one of the first things that you may notice on this Woodwind Pro in comparison to the Woodwind's past or their other pellet grills prior to the Apex is that there's no chimney. Typically, that would be right here. And on their latest release, the Apex, they remove that and they basically just have openings that are in the back that create a rolling effect. Now, because this Woodwind Pro itself is focused more on smoking, they have actually included some dampers on the back that allow you to adjust 
the heat and smoke just like you would have with the chimney. So in colder months, you close the damper a little bit to keep more heat inside the chamber. And in the summer when you're fighting the sun, you open them up to allow more heat to escape. And they've done so with these dampers in the back. Now the controller itself is that same Woodwind Wi-Fi controller that you've all come to know and love. It's got the four probes, it's the color display, PID controller, Wi-Fi, just like you've seen on the Woodwinds in the past and similar to what you're seeing on the Apex now. Now you're probably asking yourself, with all of these upgrades, how much is this thing gonna cost? Because we know at the Apex, we're talking top tier and that can get a little bit pricey, but this Woodwind Pro is gonna fall just above the Woodwind Past. Now, the Woodwind itself is still gonna be around. It's still gonna be a great option for those of you who are looking for a pellet grill, something to get nice and hot when you need it to, something to smoke with when you, when you want it to. But if you're looking for a more serious pellet smoker, the Woodwind Pro is the one you're gonna to wanna to go with. Now, this model here is the 36 inch model. To get it without the sidekick, with just the side shelf, you're looking at $1,500. If you take a step back and look at the previous Woodwind, that comes in at $1,200, so it's a $300 price increase, which you're gonna get the stainless steel body, you're gonna get a higher quality build, you're gonna see no chimney, you're gonna see smoke box, and then when you look at the 24 inch model, it is gonna be $1,200, and the original Woodwind is $900. So across the board, it's a $300 price increase. And to be honest with you, I really truly think that it is worth the extra money if you are going to be doing a lot of smoking. Now with this grill in comparison to the higher end camp chefs in the past, there is no slide and grill. There is no louvered drip tray. They've removed that slide and grill or those searing capabilities. But I can tell you right now, Camp Chef is the most versatile pellet grill on the market. And if you've got a Camp Chef and don't have a sidekick, you're doing something wrong. This right here gives you the ability to accessorize, to run the griddle, to run the grill box, to run the pizza oven. That really truly does make Camp Chef the most versatile pellet grill on the market. D doesn't matter what model you have if you've got that sidekick. This one here is meant for someone who is going to be doing a lot of smoking and wants the closest thing to an offset but still have the set it and forget it features like you would get with pellet grills. Now, one of my favorite upgrades to the recent Camp Chefs, the Apex and the Woodwind Pro is four caster wheels. I don't know why every pellet grill on the market doesn't have four caster wheels to begin with. I can tell you my garage is tight. I'm constantly maneuvering these grills in and out and trying to get these in there into a tight space without four caster wheels can be a pain. But no worries, no longer because the Woodwind Pro has four caster wheels and they're sturdy. The legs are sturdy. The way that they have positioned them, changed the angles and put that bottom shelf. This thing is a very sturdy built grill and it makes it easy to maneuver around. Now, when it comes to the One Wooden Pro, you're gonna get the cooking surface that you have already come to know and love from Camp Chef. You're gonna get that huge bottom main grate with those coated racks, and then you're gonna get those upper racks that you can configure into different positions. Now, a lot of times, I'll just stack them on top of each other and use them as a warming rack towards the back, or I'll take them out completely depending on what I'm cooking. But the nice thing is with those upper racks is you've got two of them, you can position them any way you'd like them. When it comes to this new Woodwind, there are features that followed it from the previous generations. First of all, the easy pellet cleanout, for example. All you have to do is pull a lever and it dumps all of the used pellets down into the cup for easy cleanup and disposal. It also comes with a hopper discharge where you can dump all of the pellets from the hopper and there is a chute in the back where you can put a bucket or your pellet bag to catch all of those. Those features all came from the previous generation camp chefs. Now we've talked a lot about what they've done to change it up, but I haven't shown you anything about how it functions. So let me show you the main features of this Woodwind Pro up close. Let's get it going. If you're familiar with the Woodwind, then you're gonna recognize this controller right away. I'm gonna come over here and flip the power switch. You will see that full color display comes up and we're gonna treat this exactly like we have treated every other pellet grill in the past. We're gonna say set temperature and today I'm gonna to set this at 250 degrees and I'm gonna hit confirm and that's gonna start the startup mode. And for the next six minutes, we're gonna be feeding pellets into the burn pot and we're gonna have our hot rod igniting those pellets. And you always wanna to remember to open your lid to get those combustible gases out of there. Now that we have this lit, let me show you what this firebox is all about. So I've got some chunks of cherry. And what I'm going to do is we wanna make sure that the butterfly valve or the handle is pointed at the six o'clock position. 
that has the butterfly valve completely closed off. I'm going to pull this out and you will see that there is a nice little grate there. Now you just let that set just like so and I'm gonna take my hardwood and I'm going to pop it down in to the firebox or the smoke box as they call it. Then I'm going to take this, close it, and I'm going to turn this to the three o'clock position. Now this sets the butterfly valve completely open. And while these pellets are igniting, the flame that is produced from the pellets themselves will go up through the opening from that butterfly valve and will ignite that hardwood cherry wood that I've just placed into the smoke box. Now we've got five minutes left on the startup. Let's give it the five minutes and then I'll show you what's going on. All right, so we've had this thing running for about 10 minutes now. We are up to temperature 250 degrees and we've got wood in that smoke box and it should be good to smoke, but let's check on it. Now, whenever we open up the smoke box, we wanna make sure that the butterfly valve is in a closed position. So push that handle down to the six o'clock and we're gonna to check to see how the wood in the smoke box is doing. And as you can see, we've got a nice smoke coming off of there. So there should be no reason any longer to leave that butterfly valve open. So now that we've got the wood smoking, there will be some smoldering going on. We can leave that valve closed and we're gonna get nice smoke from that hardwood, that charcoal briquettes or that lump charcoal, whatever you choose to put in there for the next few hours. And it depends really the density of what you're putting in there, how much you've loaded in there and what temperature you're running the grill. But through my testing of this while we were in Utah, I saw that just those chunks that you saw me add there, if we catch it before they really truly start to burn and catch fire, we can get several hours of smoke out of that. Now, it's a very easy thing to just add more. As this burns down, it will create a coal bed, some nice hot cherry red coals. Just add a couple more pieces as you go and you can prolong that smoke effect all the way through your cook. Now I can tell you now, I watched Jeremy from Mad Scientist Barbecue, Susie from Hay Grill Hay, and Carlos from Smoke and Vine. I watched them each cook briskets, three completely different methods on this, and I can tell you with 100% certainty, there wasn't a person in the crowd that wasn't impressed. I can tell you the food, the bark, and everything that comes from this is absolutely beautiful. I did a pork shoulder on this overnight, our first night out in Utah, it did great. I've done a spatchcock chicken, I've done uh, baby back ribs, I have done a beer can chicken, I've done a meatloaf, I've done steaks, I've cooked a whole bunch of food in this and it is here to impress. And I can tell you that you can tell the difference by having this smoke box in comparison just to regular pellet grill. So just that feature alone, is a revolutionary addition to the pellet grill world and to the industry. And there are gonna be a lot of people who are hopping on the Camp Chef bandwagon with this Woodwind Pro. And I think you should consider doing the same thing yourself. Now, if at any time in this video, you wanna see more about this Camp Chef, right at the very top of my description is an affiliate link. If you click that link, it'll take you to Camp Chef, but it'll also tell them that I'm the one who sent you there. Now, by doing so, that gives me a little bit of credit for the sale and it helps out the channel. So consider that if you're thinking about buying one. It is the ultimate deal if you are looking to get that set it and forget it technology, but not lose any of the smoke profile that you would get from like a manual smoker, like an offset. Now I can tell some of you are probably skeptical. The smoke that you get from this is unlike any other pellet grill on the market. And if you are looking for that rich smoke flavor and you haven't been happy with what you've gotten from pellet grills in the past, then you need to check out the Camp Chef Woodwin Pro. And if you're looking for more information, I'm gonna have a bunch of videos on my channel. So be sure to subscribe, stick around, check out some of those other videos. Then I've got a link down at the very top of my description that will take you to the Camp Chef website that will show you more of the information about this grill and give you an opportunity to purchase it. By clicking that link, that's an affiliate link that tells Camp Chef that I sent you and it'll do a little justice for me and for the channel. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions, hit me up in the comments because I wanna talk about this grill. I'm very excited about it and I'm excited to show you what it is capable over the next dozen cooks that I'm gonna be showing you. And if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And in the meantime, check out this video right here.